The new World Bank uh, Group reports find that Sub-Saharan Africa continues uh, to re record a large number of reforms aimed at easing the regulatory burden on local entrepreneurs, with 66 reforms adopted in the past year. Well, for more, we are joined on the line by Frederick Meneur, who is the co-author of Doing Business 2014 Report World Bank Group. Uh, Frederick, thank you so much for making the time to join us today. 66 reforms that we're seeing being uh, taken up here in Sub-Saharan Africa, are there any specific ones that you're seeing uh, have been ones where countries are most likely to, to take up? Thank you so much. It's a pleasure to talk to you today. So as you said, doing business in Africa is easier this year. 66 reforms, uh, it's about 66% of countries in Africa implementing at least one reform. The most common types of reforms in Africa were the ease of starting a business, or you actually start your business, or you get construction permits, and also how you get a property title. Three main countries have outstanding results this year. They uh, ease the most, the, uh, the, the ease of doing business. It is Rwanda with eight reforms, Cote d'Ivoire with four reforms, and Burundi with six reforms. Yeah. But uh, Frederick, as you mentioned, Rwanda's done significantly well, but Kenya, on the other hand, hasn't exactly been shooting out the lights. I mean, what are some of the reasons that we're seeing some countries slipping back? Are they just not uh, taking up these reforms quickly enough? It's, uh, it's a really good question. Uh, in the world, uh, we see a lot of new reforms this year. The, the pace of reforms has increased by 18%. So you see more and more countries reforming. Uh, so it doesn't mean that uh, if, if, even if, if you reform, you may not reform as much as other countries. So that's why sometimes if you look at the ranking, you may go down even if you reform. Mm. And in terms of economic activity or economic development, are, is there a correlation between where the countries would rank and how much development we're seeing in those specific countries? Uh, there are many correlations. So uh, if you look at a few uh, indicators, uh, there is a correlation between the Doing Business Indicator and the World uh, Economic Forum Indicator. Uh, you also have a few correlations uh, between Doing Business and uh, other indicators of health and development. So, but Doing Business measures are the, the regulatory framework for a local entrepreneur to be able to start and operate a business. Starting from this, if you have a good framework in the, in the long term, this is going to result in a positive economic outcome. But it's a long term uh, plan. We've seen some of the countries where we've had for the first time a data coming out from places like uh, you know, South Sudan, which are also uh, pre-conflict countries like the likes of Rwanda. What sort of examples can countries like Kenya take away uh, from you know, the countries where we are now starting to see uh, reforms coming through and where they are shining? Uh, so you mentioned South Sudan. So South Sudan is a new economy included in this year's report, uh, which was not covered before. Um, post-conflict economies tend to reform. And if you look at all the post-conflict economies, they have reformed in doing business. Um, so this is a positive and encouraging news. One good example that is uh, outstanding is Rwanda. Uh, it's uh, ranking 32 this year on the ease of doing business, which is an, uh, an amazing uh, place to be. Uh, Rwanda. Uh, reformed steadily over the past eight years. It's not a one-shot reform. It's just every year they reform in new areas and tend, they tend to go higher and higher and higher. Mm. And in all the doing business uh, uh, topics. So Rwanda is a good example in this case. Also mm. Cote d'Ivoire is a good case this year. Um, they have uh, four positive reforms. They opened a guichet unique, which is a one-stop shop for business startups, mm. and also a commercial court uh, that saved a lot of time for entrepreneurs who have litig uh, litig uh, to, to litigate. Uh, Frederic, I would have to leave it there for today. That was Frederic Menger speaking to us about the reforms that we're seeing in the uh, World Bank doing business or ease of doing business on the continent.